There are supercars, and there are supercars. And if that's the case, the Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 Roadster is one of the true greats. Mad, bad and dangerous to know, enthusiasts will tell you this is the last of the real Lamborghinis. And by that, they mean the last of the Larry Lamborghinis. The Murcielago wears the influence of Audi's ownership of the brand in that it won't break down and it's screwed together with German thoroughness rather than Italian eccentricity. But to its core, this is a classic Lambo. Ferrari can keep its racing heritage. When it comes to drama, nothing can top the raging bull. So what makes the LP640 a proper supercar? Well, for a start, it is utterly impractical. It's just too big. And it is so preposterously fast, speed limits aren't just an irrelevance. They're doubled, tripled even, in the blink of an eye. And fuel consumption? Well, the best it will do, yes, the best, according to official figures, is a laughable 14 miles per gallon. You'd best hope you don't get caught in a rain shower either. Installing the roof is a two-man, five-minute test of dexterity and patience. Do you care when you drive it? Not a jot. For this is epic, magical driving, the like of which only something truly exotic can deliver. So how do we come to be behind the wheel? Well, this particular Lambo belongs to Club Velocitor, membership of which provides all the fun of supercar ownership, but without the hassle. Joining will set you back a steep 14 grand a year, but when you consider a car like this could cost you that on maintenance alone, never mind insurance and other costs, you can see the attraction. An attraction that our man Dan was keen to explore. A dish as rich as this is certainly one to be savoured for special occasions. And if you're only going to be using it for the odd weekend away and such like, why not let somebody else take care of the boring stuff like maintenance and storage and leave you to just get on with enjoying it? Bored and stroked out from 6.2 litres to a massive 6.5 litres, the LP640's monumental V12 delivers an astounding 631 brake horsepower, and it revs all the way to 8,000 RPM. It doesn't need turbos or fancy trickery, instead relying on good old-fashioned muscle to erupt from the line and hit 62 miles per hour in just 3.4 seconds. That's four tenths faster than the original Murcielago Roadster on which it's based. Top speed is over 200 miles per hour. The numbers don't do the drama of actually driving the car any justice though. This is visceral, thrilling motoring available only to a very select few. It's also intimidating in every respect, and not just because of its size. There's the fact it costs more than the average British home, and the visibility is seriously limited. And it really, really hates going slowly as Dan explains. The controls are heavy and demand a firm hand, but this is as it should be. You want to be thrilled by a car like this. You want it to invade your senses and really set your pulse racing. And in the LP640, it will be off the scale. As for good points, well, there's the noise and drama, the jaw-dropping looks, you'll always be the centre of attention. As for bad points, well, you'll always be the centre of attention. It's totally impractical, and it will get you into trouble very quickly. <laughs>